Major criminal gangs vie for power, and the outcome of the struggle is impossible to predict. One thing is certain, a couple of weeks from now, only one family will rule the city. Welcome back, everybody, to This is the Police. I'm your host, Officer Falcon. I'm having a blast with this game. I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. If you are, do let me know in the comments. I'm leaving a like, and we shall continue to cover this. Even after the release date itself, I, f I believe we won't have to worry about the 40-day code I got that I could show you. I believe we're on par to just continue the series perfectly fine after the game releases. But again, we'll make a judgment call once that comes along. But for now, I'm having a good time with it, and if you guys are enjoying it as well, again, do let me know. For now, we have the Freeburg Tribune. Francis Kendrick won't succeed. Jack, boy, gee, I wonder why. Could it be because his head was hanging off of a chandelier somewhere? Maybe. A corn monument to be demolished by summer's end. And city administration to finance the dance festival. Let's go to work. Hey, we got the little car thing this time around. Last time we were driven to work. Actually, we, well, we kind of were, but we were taken to the ranch first. I'm too tired. I can hardly walk straight. Can I go home? Well, technically speaking, you should. I just hired you already, dog, and you're needing a day off. And it's coming. This guy's coming up with three stripes, though. Good on him. Yeah, go, go, do your thing. Okay, here we go. We need to give this badge away, and I'm gonna toss it over to Samadhi, I believe. Or should we just go with Robbins and pump him up a bit more? This would probably put Robbins over 200, right? Then again, does Robbins really deserve a second stripe already? He just barely came out of the academy. Let's go with Samadhi. Let's improve him. Hey, look at that. 215. Okay. Looking a lot better over here. Let's go ahead and start our day, I'm going to say, right? Yeah. Start a day. All right. So let's see what's happening here today in day 13. Hey, we have the war. Oh, yeah. The war is indeed starting off, right? This is because uh, we chose Varga. We chose to help out Varga last time as opposed to Christopher Sands. And now they're warring. So we have that happening. Freeburg's first mafia war in decades has spread chaos across the streets. Major criminal gangs vie for power, and the outcome of the struggle is impossible to predict. One thing is certain, a couple of weeks from now, only one family will rule the city. You're damn right, and hopefully it's Varga, because that's the one we chose for. Job slot officer has been denied! Oh, yeah, big surprise. I don't know, City Hall doesn't want to help me um, control crime. <laughs> Imagine that. Attempted murder. A residential area, a passerby rang the police when he saw a naked man running through the streets, pursued by a woman carrying a large kitchen knife. The woman was shouting, I'll gut you, you fucking... Oh, hey. <laughs> uh, faggot. Mm. Uh, I don't think she's um, too thrilled with this man. Alrighty, well... I don't think we need too many cops for this, but it is a woman maybe whacked out of her mind chasing a man that's naked with a knife down the street. To be on the safe side, let's go with um, Smitty and Fang. Get Fang's, you know, feet a little bit wet here. Fang's going to be a better contributing member to our squad, so hopefully we can level Fang here a little bit, or we just eventually whack her <laughs> and get somebody better in her spot. We'll see. The Sands need help. Do you now? Varga stirred up some punks, and they went and attacked one of the family right in the barbershop. We already sent our own men, but we don't know how many scumbags we're up against. You can come join the party, but don't get in our way. Oh, yeah. How about you could go um sit on it and rotate, my friend, because I'm not going to help you out. Now, I don't have to do this, right? This is probably like a choice optional type of thing. Like, you know, I chose Varga, so why the hell would I help Sans out now? Here's the report. How'd it go, guys? Everything went perfectly fine. Uh, fender caught, officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. Very good. Hit and run. Oh, you know what? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Before we grab that, investigations. Hold up. No, no, not just investigations. You, my friend, on the arson one, this is the one with the woman who tossed them all top in that, you know, that movie. I need to give this guy an extra hand over here, so Cross, help him out. Right? Yes. Yeah, he's in shift B, but you should still be able to help him out. It doesn't matter if they're in another shift, it doesn't seem. They'll still help each other out. So, um, they can work the case, like, at this, whenever they're on the job, one of them will work and the other one's not working. So, it's a really good thing to actually split it up with, um... Shift people, oddly enough. So, um, Cross, help our, um, Hunter out with this arson. Maybe you guys could bring up some clues together. And then, let's see. Close that off. And then we have another investigation over here. Hit and run. An unknown vehicle struck Liberian Klimik Kalinowski at a pedestrian crossing and drove off. The victim was found dead on the scene. Okay. Well, unfortunately for us... Hunter's already working the case, and Armstrong isn't really that strong, so we'll have to definitely give him some backup once we get the chance over here. So let's proceed with this one for now. And if we can, let's... Oh, it has to, it has to give me the first part first, right? 
once we get the first part of Wednesday's question, the witnesses will go ahead and toss another person in that case as well. As I, as I mentioned before, you guys did let me know perfectly viable that the way you find out... There you go, here's her thing. The way you find out if the case is correctly is you just mess around with the frames until it finally tells you at the end, Hey, you got it right, so... I wasn't aware of that. I thought it was basically like a slow, ongoing process, but no, the moment you set the frames correctly, it's, you know, kind of, quote-unquote, case over. Although you do have to, like, find a person and arrest them, I've heard. Anyway, we have Matt Paul, the witness. This dark-colored car comes tearing around the corner, hopped the curb and kept on going, knocked the man over, didn't even slow down. Jerome Alvarez, the bartender. Not long before the crash, I kicked a couple of drunks out of the bar. They were having a fight with some of my regulars. Anna Kalinowski, the daughter. A few days ago, Dad was, uh, was at a f had a fight. I'd worked with a couple of young people who were causing a ruckus at the library. I'm pretty sure you mean at the library. Because I don't think they were posing as a library to fight your father. The whole thing almost came to blows. They threatened him before they left. Okay. Mr. Hopkins, I saw two people in the car. They went right by me. The man in the passenger seat had a beard. Okay, a possible description. And Mr. Boone. Climate caught thought... He was being followed. He said he saw a guy everywhere, said it looked like someone had a problem with him at the library. Okay, so the library story is kind of starting to make a little bit more sense, right? Alright, so for now, let's go ahead and close it off. And investigation, we could come over here, and now we go ahead and give you a little bit of backup. Char, I would give him to you, but um, he's on his day off. So let's give you Mole for now, and then maybe we'll toss Char in here once he's a bit more level-headed. Because I don't think the first case requires anybody else, since they have a 400-star detective here anyway. Hey, So far, we haven't really had too many calls. It's just been mostly sands and people looking for help, huh? Eddie's Burgers. Massacre at Eddie's Burgers. Something's always happening at Eddie's Burgers in this game, you know? A girl entered Eddie's Burgers, ordered a Diet Coke, and started shooting at the other customers with a handgun. <laughs> what? Maybe they gave her, like, a regular Coke and she was really mad about it. I know, I know, in poor taste, people died probably if that was a massacre. I am aware it's a game, though, okay? The game has a lot of dark humor. Don't you look at me that way, or don't you look at the screen thinking it's me that way, is what I probably should say. The cashier called the police, and in the background there were gunshots and screams. Meanwhile, the crazy young woman is shouting, I HATE FAT PEOPLE! Well, there you go, I told you, maybe my joke was actually not wrong. Maybe they did serve her a regular Coke and she's really... Strong in her beliefs about, you know, being in shape and, I don't know, send her off the, over the edge. I don't know. See, it's not too far-fetched now, is it? Obviously, we need SWAT for this one. Jeez, you know what? I'm not taking a chance with a crazy person like this. I think we have to send all five cops for this one, so... Oshiro! Smitty! Um, Samadhi! Robbins, let's go ahead and send Fang for another hopeful level up here, okay? You guys better come back in one piece. I'm sending all of you guys out here, so hopefully... Um, this gets taken care of fast enough, and we don't get any other calls. I feel like the sand things is actually helping me out with the less number of calls today. So, it's giving me a chance to kind of, like, move people around. Like, I have to worry about my cops being out all the time. Massacre report. Hey, offender caught. Officers unharmed. Civilians unharmed. Plus 10 for everybody. Perfect. Good job, guys. The Vargas need help. So, this one we should definitely respond to because we decided to side with Vargas instead. Who apparently, whose emblem is a rat. Kind of worries me a little bit. Sands is like, you know, kind of like a, a bird. Maybe a majestic bird, like a falcon, perhaps? Who knows? But Vargas is a rat. Um, they need two people, it does seem. Mr. Varga gave us a new sports car, so we were going to go for a joyride. Now, suddenly, out of the blue, we're getting chased by the damn helicopter. They're shooting at us! This isn't going to be pretty. Okay, this one, this one worries me a little bit. Especially with the whole shooting uh, aspect here. Alright, Samadhi. Actually. <laughs> no, sorry, Robbins. You have a stripe, though, so you should probably command a bit more respect that way. Send, uh... Take Grant with you, okay? Help these scumbags out. Armed robbery at the city center. Oh my god, what's with these big number of cop calls always and always, man? Um... Let's give it a second. Do we have enough time to get a Grant and Robbins in back? No. Not enough time at all. Alrighty, armed robbery, city center, an alarm came in from an armored truck. Armed men have blocked the street, shot at the armored truck's tires, shot at the armored truck's tires, and are trying to seize the bags of money. This is really terrible, and we don't have any SWAT support anymore. This is like a really, really bad, tricky case, especially that it requires six cops. We only have four available. This could be really, really bad. 
Like, I almost don't feel like even sending anybody out to this one. How about we hold off a bit more? Hold off a bit more. We'll probably end up sending them, but let's give Robbins and Grant a chance to maybe get to the thing, come back, and in case my team needs backup, we do our thing. Here's another call. A fight at the dump. That would probably be a bit more safer, too, huh? All right, well... Ah, oh, the lack of SWAT worries me. This is a really tough... This is, like, a really fucked-up call. Like, we know for a fact these dudes are down to just go down swinging. They're shooting at an armored truck. Robbins and Grant are coming back. Good. So maybe they'll be back in time for this dumb call. Let me find out what this is. Oh, we're good. Four cops required. A night watchman during his rounds followed some noises to discover several homeless people fighting over a bundle that was lying on the ground. <laughs> for a second, I thought we were going to have, like, bum fights or something. Remember when I was a thing back in the day? Oh, good God. Armed robbery, city center. Oh, please don't go bad. The narrow street is blocked by two vans near the armored truck. Three armed masked men have surrounded a truck, and one of them is carrying a blowtorch. On the roof of one of the van is a fort criminal who shouts something to his accomplices as he sees the officers approach. I'll be honest with you. I'd rather have them get away. Honestly. Shoot the robber who's standing on the roof of the van. You are surrounded. Surrender peacefully. The blowtorch won't work. You need to use dynamite. Do I really want to give them ideas? Uh, you are surrounded. Surrender peacefully. Shoot the robber who's standing on the roof of the van. We know for a fact these people already taken shots at the armored truck, but they shot the tires. We have, they haven't killed anybody to our understanding, but they do seem properly armed to want to fight out. Shoot the robber who's standing on the roof of the van. Is that the right... Oh, the criminals take out their automatic weapons and open fire. I figured as much. Retreat back down the alley. Hide behind a patrol car and fire from cover. Go on the offensive and take them out. Hide behind a patrol car and fire from cover. Oh. Oh. Everybody's fine. Everybody was fine, too. <laughs> oh, my God. You, you, This fucking game. Like, I haven't really had too much good RNG luck as of late, so I'm a bit, you know, cautious, but that one worked out. Defender caught, officers unharmed. Whew. Alrighty. So, we have the fight, and then we, uh, Vargas need more help. Let's do the dump first, right? We're not gonna have enough cops for this, so let's just go now. Um, Robbins and Grant have to check it out on their own, it does seem. No other choice about it. Otherwise, we miss this call completely. So, it's bums. I don't think they're gonna be too dangerous, right? I hope so. Hey, messages from the arson case. No new frames found. Oh, come on! I gave you Cross. Cross? You're disappointing me right now. Well, alrighty. Again, I don't think this is part of the area. There's no mention of her barricading the fucking door, so this is fine. Her rushing in does make sense. She bought a ticket, though. They're, they're not showing that, so maybe a ticket thing would be over here or something? I don't know. She came in late, remember? She tossed that everything went on fire, so let's just stick it with this here for now. Um, hit and run report? Hey, three new frames. Open investigation. Alrighty. This dark-colored car comes tearing from around the corner, hopped the curb and kept on going, knocked the man over, didn't even slow down. So, we do know for a fact dark car, this one's black. So, that one is the right one. This is a red car. Would a red car constitute as dark? I mean, it could be dark red, sure, but... Maybe not the right one, I'm gonna say. Although, hopped the curb and kept on going, knocked the man over. That's what happened here for sure, but again, red car, black car. The fact that Mr. Paul saying it's a dark car thinks, makes me think it's going to be black. If it's a red car, he would at least say red, right? He would give me a color. Wouldn't just say dark. I'm going to go with this one. I don't think these fit at all. Not to mention we're still missing frames anyway. So, let's stick with that one. I don't think these are part of that one. So, close. And... Vargas needs the old help. Are we almost done with the day here? Just so I can make sure I don't have to... Sacrifice cost for another case anywhere? Come on. Yeah, I think we should be done with the day here. Some of Sen's men have pinned us down in an alley. They're aiming to maim. Mr. Vargas said we can go to you for help. That's true. Alright, Sam D, take Fang along with you. You guys won't get any experience for this, but whatever. Already there! You guys need backup for the bombs? Well, thankfully, we did have a couple of people here backed up after all. Um, is the day almost over? I really hope it is. You know what? Just in case, let's just send a big amount of people for backup because I would rather not lose some cops over some sort of, like, crazy bomb fight over here. That would be really terrible at this point, considering our day is, should be almost over. 
I want to say it's over. The timer just stopped completely. Now we just wait for the outcomes. Come on, give me some good outcomes here. Samity and Fang are coming back, good. And One Piece, no less. Backup call, backup call, please go good. Oh, they're coming back. Nobody's died, apparently. Great. Offender caught, officers unharmed. Hey, another day with nothing bad going on for us. Cool. Hey, we need a couple of these, man. We've had some bad RNG as of late. Martinstead, Jack, San has had decades to strengthen his position in the city, but that doesn't mean the grip can't be broken. Take care that Varga is ahead on points after two weeks in the war and successfully carry out at least half of his jobs. And one more thing, just so San doesn't start suspecting you betrayed him, don't let Varga get too long on points. If San is out on the lead for three days in a row, it'll cost you your life. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. If San is out of the lead for three days in a row, it'll cost you your life. Uh, okay. So, I don't necessarily have to help Sans. I guess I could give him a couple of points, because he does need a couple of points. But if I don't send help for Vargas... Actually, I do have to send help for Sans. So, this it says three days in a row. This would be day number one that he's in losing, right? Right. This would be day number one. Oof. I'm worried. Not gonna lie to you, I'm a bit worried. Luckily, everybody here survived today. Everybody did good. There was no failed cases. City Hall keeps giving me the finger, even though I keep doing good now, but okay. That's a City Hall for us, right? Day number 14. Very good. We're gonna wrap it up here for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like to support us. Me a lot. Stick around for the next episode. I will catch you next time.